Hello, hello. My name is Paul Bauer. I am a realtor here in the Lincoln and Omaha area. And today I have Justin Fuchs with me. And this is another Bowtie Business Spotlight. So how are you doing today, Justin? I'm good. How are you doing, Paul? It's beautiful outside. I mean, I just have the natural light and it, you know, I, I would imagine that's probably what you have for this video too. So, I mean, anytime you can have natural light for a video, I mean, it's a great day. That you Yeah, know, for sure. Put your best face out there for sure. So, well, first question I got for you, uh, when it comes to uh, Robber's Cave and everything like that, you are the venue manager uh, with Robber's Cave. And when it comes to that, uh, give us a little bit of detail about yourself and Robber's Cave. Yeah, so, uh, well, Robber's Cave is an event venue opened up um, in August of 2020. Um, so a few months ago, we're in March now. So um, we originally were, uh, well, the building was originally a brewery um, and switched over to an event venue after a few years. And so we're excited about this new concept. Um, we host things like weddings and conferences, uh, you know, meetings, all sorts of different things out here. Um, now, the actual robber's cave beneath the building, that has not changed. Mm -hmm. um, that has been here since 1864. Obviously, it's changed a ton in that hundred and plus years. Um, it's now on the National Register of Historic Places, mm -hmm. which is awesome. Um, so that obviously has gone through multiple different um entities from being a daycare to a place to store wine for places like Jesse James to hang, hang, uh, hang out. All sorts of different myths and legends have gone down down there. And so now we're just adding on to that as an event venue um, for people to add history to the cave as well as let the cave history kind of add into their events. Um, so that's pretty much where we're at here at, at Robber's Cave now. Yeah. And I, I remember uh, learning actually not too long ago, uh, the fraternity I used to be at at the university, I think actually held a couple ceremonies in Robber's Cave too. So that's, that's really, really cool. I mean, there's a ton of history when it comes there. So how did you become a part of it then? Yeah, so uh, it's actually kind of an interesting um, story. I would um, do a lot of networking out there and getting to know people just like this. And so uh, a good friend of mine, Melanie, actually was like, hey, uh, some people we know are doing this venture out here and you do events. So they want some they want people to come and look at it. Do you want to go out there? And I was like, heck, yes, I love seeing new places um, and getting in early. And that sort of led to another meeting, to another meeting, to another meeting, which turned out to where we are today, uh, to where I help manage the venue um, with the owners. And so it's really kind of interesting also, because I've heard of Robber's Cave before this, but I thought, a cave, this is like, how far do I have to drive to get to a cave? And so I kind of wrote it off. And then when I realized it's right in the heart of Lincoln, um, how cool is that, that we have such a natural thing right here in the city that um, I was super intrigued and was excited to keep kind of moving along in that process to where we are today. So really it was just a you know, phone call at nine in the morning saying, hey, uh, can you be somewhere in two hours? And I was like, of course, let's do it, so. Yeah. And I know, I know one question that might be on a lot of people's mind, you know, obviously Robert's cave has been there for a very long time, but it seems like in many recent years, there's been multiple different places that have owned the building above the cave. And so a question that I think would be on a lot of people's mind is what kind of makes what you're doing now a little bit different from what's been there in the past and what makes it special as well? Yeah, so I think the, the biggest thing, especially talking about the history of this building that's on top of it, uh, building was built in about 2015, I believe. And actually the owners of the building are have been the same since it was built. It was just the tenants involved that have sort of shifted and changed. So, and now as a sort of a new tenant, you could say, what's interesting is actually we are partially and mostly owned by also the owners of the building. So what's great about that is there's a lot of, a lot of interest in wanting to make sure that this project um, really is the final project for this building and just takes us into 
um, you know, into forever, really. I mean, I, I'm on for a, a sort of a four year kind of contract, essentially. So like, I'm in it for the long haul, the buildings in it for the long haul. Um, and we've really taken a lot of pride in that of trying to um, create a space that's unique to Lincoln. Um, mm -hmm not just because of the cave underneath us, but as a building um, and kind of restructuring the space to work for events um, that there is no other building like this in the city of Lincoln that has outdoor space, has um, three to four different indoor spaces that can all be differently used and unique in their own way. Uh, that's something that no real venue um, has here in Lincoln. They either have tons of amazing outdoor space, which is great, or they have tons of amazing, great indoor space. Um, but to have both of those combined into one venue is really unique. Yeah. And I think one thing to add on there before we go to the website, this might be one of the first times that the building that's on top of Robber's Cave really showcases it, you know, and allows people to really see kind of what it is. So I think that kind of makes it special as well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, what we've done here, you can kind of see some behind me, what you can see, but we've really taken the history of the cave and brought it into the building. Um, not only do we have pictures around, but we're, you know, use the history and the logo with a lantern that's, you know, very iconic um, to cave and things like that, you know. So, yeah, you're right. Definitely bringing in and wanting to showcase not only what's underneath the building, but bring that upstairs into our building as a whole. So what Justin's going to do now is he's going to share the website of Robber's Cave and kind of take us on a journey through that. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, Robert's Cave, like I said, we uh, the cave itself has been here since about 1864. So uh, tons of history down there. Um, again, we opened in August of 2020. Uh, we do things like weddings, receptions, special events, um, corporate events, all sorts of different things. Uh, we have multiple spaces here. Um, the James room here is one of our largest rooms in the basement. Um, it is occupancy of about 220. Cocktail can have even more than that. Um, that's seated. That's the, the best space um, for all of your big type of events. What's great, you can kind of see it. And this picture here, um, even though it is on our lower level, it um, has a loft above it that has natural light and windows. So if we're doing something there during the daytime, it really can help shine in that room and bring a great unique look. Um, Next to that is the Scarborough room, which has actually changed a little bit since this picture. I just haven't gotten the picture updated, but its occupancy is about a hundred. Um, what's great about it is it's right next to the James room. So you can combine the two rooms together um, and get about 330, 340 um, seated in those two rooms. So just a good size for um, a lot of weddings um, that are coming down right now. Um, as well as each room has its own bar, which makes it unique. So guests can use bars on either side um, of a partition or just we can have the room separated and unique for each event. Um, our upstairs room, we call it the sandstone room. Uh, this is a great space. That's actually what I'm sitting in right now is a sandstone room. Um, a nice big, huge bar up here. It also has a whole deck um, attached to it, which overlooks our Dakota theater. Um, so this is a great spot, the sandstone for wedding reset, uh, you know, like cocktail hours, rehearsal dinners, um, corporate happy hours after an all day meeting that's um, downstairs. Um, like I said, there's that deck that overlooks, um, the Dakota theater. The deck has seating for almost, uh, 40 to 50 as well, um, which is great, which adds to your capacity. Um, and then the Dakota theater is a great spot. Um, it has a little stage out there that's powered. Um, there's some lights in it, all sorts of cool stuff that you can use, um, for either a concert or your wedding ceremony, or maybe a trade show where you have people walking around, um, and seeing different vendors, um, a game night, all sorts of different stuff have been used, um, have used the Dakota Theater out there. It's got great grain elevators behind it. So that look really um, comes into play um, well out there. Um, we've also got uh, in our lower level, uh, we call it the hideaway. 
um, for brides and grooms that are getting married, this is a great spot for them to essentially have their own private dressing room. Uh, there's mirrors down there. You get your own bathroom, um, great soft furniture, all sorts of different stuff happens down there. Um, and so that can either be for a bride or maybe a CEO if they're doing a big uh, uh, meeting here and they need a space to kind of get away for the day. So that is a great space that again is unique to us and not a lot of venues have that aspect. You either have to go to a hotel room or something like that to get this feel. And we have it right here on site. There is a robber's roost, which I don't have a photo of yet. We're still working on that, but it is essentially just a loft above our Scarborough room that is uh, carpeted, can be more seating, um, all sorts of different stuff up there. Uh, the green room is actually the entrance to the cave. Um, this can be seated for a dinner. This could be used as a speakeasy for a bar. All sorts of different stuff can really happen down there. Again, a unique space. And this is what um, all of your guests see if they do, um, if we do go down into the cave. Uh, here we offer uh, catering and event management services for, for all events. Um, our catering goes through Yes Chef, which is a local company here in Lincoln, and they really take your event to a whole nother level. Um, so they have a ton of options. They're great at working off menu um, and their price point is right on par, which is one reason why we chose them. Um, I mean, Jake, the chef makes his own ketchup. I mean, and when you look at catering, that doesn't happen a lot. So it's really awesome. And they generally take their food. They always take their food to another level. I even have little containers that I take from my house to here. I fill up sometimes if there's some extra and I take it home just because it's always that good. Uh, cave history and the tours. What's great about this is like we've talked about, there is, there is Robber's Cave proper underneath the building. And so this can be used in your event. It could be, uh, if you're getting married here, you can go down and take pictures with you and your family or your bridal party. Um, if we're doing a corporate event, we could add in maybe some tours, um, custom for some VIPs or something along those lines. Or even if you're getting married here and you have, you know, 150 people here, 300 people here, we can do 15 minute tours of the cave, um, all night long. So all of your guests really get to experience what's also, um, underneath and be able to really see that and make it part of your, your day and your event. And we also still are doing um, tours outside of events. Um, Joel Green, who wrote the book on the, on the cave, uh, he still does these private, they're booked in advance. Um, and you actually go to his website, robberscavetours.com, and you give him a call um, or an email and you just schedule those with him. And then they're private, which is great right now, uh, especially it's a COVID safe way uh, to come and do something with just you and your family. So that is a great thing that has still been going on um, with this building since, since the beginning. So that's great. Like I said, it is on the National Register of Historic Places now, which is awesome. Um, so that is really kind of us and a real quick nutshell. Um, I like to kind of just keep it uh, brief. And then what we do is um, um, our contact info. Again, we're over on um, kind of like 9th and Van Dorn, 10th and Van Dorn. Um, we've got a couple of different ways to contact us. Uh, either my phone number, this 413-2045 or Joel at the tours, um, or you can always email us. Um, and that's the best way, really email or call and we can schedule a time. I do private showings with every event that wants to come out here. So we walk the space and we really talk through what are you thinking for your event? Um, and how do we make this space unique for you? We really want our venue to not be a package, to not be a nutshell that has everyone has to follow. Um, so if you wanna do something unique and different, um, we can do that. I'm actually talking to domestic pops to see if they wanna do you know, one of their dog events here outside since we have both that outdoor and indoor space and how we can use it in different ways. So um, that is really the bulk of, of us. I think one thing that you kind of mentioned a little bit is places that you are kind of partnered with or, you know, do things with. So when it does come to people that are uh, helpful partnership wise, who are you kind of dealing with when it comes to that? Yeah. So uh, the biggest thing that we partner with is Yes Chef. They do all of our food and beverage here. They're really some of the biggest um, that we work so closely with. Now, a lot of our other partnerships are um, more uh, 
not necessarily as exclusive, but they are very much a, uh, when you use us here at Robbers Cave, um, I work really closely with every client. My goal is really to be that resource for people. I understand, uh, especially if you're looking at a wedding, not everyone plans a wedding 15 times a year, Mm -hmm. um, right? But I do over, you know, 20 to 30 a year. So I see a lot have a lot of experience and all of that. So I try to bring that to every client that's here. Um, and so if they're looking for a DJ, I'm able to send them, here's three or four that I really recommend and work with. Or if they're looking for event rental, um, I toss out uh, my event rental person who gives us a discount if you have your event here at Robbers Cave. Um, so there's a lot of those things that continue to happen and I continue to build out as far as if you have your event here, you kind of get discounts with these sort of preferred vendors um, that we like to use, but we also like to keep it open for everyone because, you know, someone might have, and I had this the other day that someone has an aunt who works somewhere who really can give them a great deal. So it's like, well, awesome. I don't want to eliminate that um, mm-hmm. from, from your, your, you know, your quiver. So. Yeah. And I think that's great that you do keep it open because A lot of events, you know, it's, Hey, we only have, you know, this person and this person that you work with can't do it. So I think that's another thing that makes your place great. You're willing to, you know, open it up and allow them to have, you know, the best experience possible. So when it comes to this year, you know, when you look at the forecast for it, is there a specific, specific event? I know you're an event center, so it might be multiple. Um, But if there, is there anything specific you're looking for? looking forward to or with Lincoln in general? Yeah. So obviously we're coming out of a pandemic a little bit. We're still in it right now, but you know, I think we all start to see the light a little bit at the end of that tunnel. Right. So 21 is really picking up. I see what you did there, you know? Yes. Yes. (laughs) Um, So 21 is really picking up well for us, uh, especially as being newer. Uh, There's a lot of people I think that were kind of pulling off a little bit to see how 2020 rolled around. And now they're kind of saying, Hey, let's, Let's really get 2021 going. So that's been great to have dates available to be able to fill that in um, with those people and still give them an option. Um, As well as just in general for events, I think we're super excited here um, that we, with our outdoor space, we're going to be doing in the summer Mm -hmm. and middle of fall, um, possibly, you know, like a concert here and there or something along those lines where we get people out here, be able to experience the space and it doesn't have to necessarily be a private event like someone's wedding or something. So um, that is something we're, we're actively going to be looking at and we'll be doing here um, as we continue to see how, how the summer and um, things roll out. We're also doing here um, June 20th, uh, the love is love wedding expo will be out here. Um, which is great. It's brand new. It's the first year um, that it's ever been produced. Um, And the people producing that are doing great at actually handpicking all of the vendors that are going to be here. Um, So for people getting married, there will be two or three DJs, there will be two or three floors, two or three this, um, and it will really be able to have um, a concept for people to really plan their specific day around what they want. Um, So that'll be out here June 20th of this year, um, which I'm super excited about um, for that to be out here and to see the history that 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 goes. It ties into uh, Star City Pride weekend, which is that weekend. um, And it is the final wrap up to Star City Pride. uh, Oh, awesome. So um, that and, you know, we've got a lot of weddings coming up, uh, which is great. And they all have their differences and um you know, uh, I think a, a fun one that will be is our own, one of our owner's um, daughters is getting married. And so that's going to be out here, which is, I think, fantastic. Uh, it's his last daughter. And so, um, and he loves this place so much. It's really like he's been in from the beginning. So I know he's super excited to really um, showcase it off to his friends and family. So I think it's going to be a great, a great one for us. So. Yeah. And then we also did a big thing uh, that's coming up here. I don't have an exact date yet. But we just filmed a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, uh, we filmed a documentary here all about Robber's Cave, not only the cave itself, but the venue was a part of it. Um, And so they're furiously editing that right now um, and then hoping to release it out to the public. I think what we're going to do here is we're going to have a showing, you know, the first, the, the premiere of it will actually be here either inside or outside. We're still kind of working those details, but um, then it will it'll be on a streaming platform. Don't know which one yet. So make sure you're following us on social media at Robbers Cave Lincoln. Um, And that will all be 
teased out there and publicized. So that's super exciting to have um, not only the book on Robber's Cave that Joel wrote, but we're also now we'll have, you know, a 90 minute documentary um, that shows all the history. They interviewed a ton of people. They recreated some fun things down in the cave. Um, so that'll be a great visual um, on top of all the photos we have. Yeah. And it's a good thing you brought that up because I was actually going to uh, briefly ask you to touch on that because I did see a lot of uh, teaser, you know, videos and posts that that was happening. And I know it's been something in the works for quite some time. So that's pretty cool. But uh, I mean, when it comes to events, when it comes to weddings, I mean, pandemic or not, you know, love is always in the air. You know, I mean, people are always going to get married, you know, no matter what's going on. So I think it's great that things are, you know, starting to open up and it's such a great venue to have something like that there. So, well, for sure. that, I mean, that about wraps it up, Justin. I definitely appreciate you being on here and, you know, giving your insight with everything. Cause I, I know you have a lot of that. So we definitely appreciate it. So thanks so much awesome. for being a part of this, Justin. Yes. Thank you so much for having us. We appreciate it. No problem.